good morning friends in our earlier sessions we have come to know what is management how management is defined what are the classical theories of management where doing the right things and having a right way of doing things were very important we also spoke about the 14 principles of management of henry fayol which helped us in identifying the right way of doing work in an organization today in this session we will talk about neo classical theories which were an advancement over the classical theories of taylor and uh, other thinkers of classical era i am dr nidhi shrivastava from ims ghaziabad university courses campus will give you a little brief about the neo classical theories neo classical theories actually what happened when we were do, discussing the classical theories we observed that the main focus of classical theories was to improve the productivity and the this productivity improvement point of view was more supportive towards the industrialist who were the capitalist of that time now these people saw that when the physical and tangible resources are playing role in increasing productivity we are not able to get the desired level because intangible factors also play an important role and this intangible factor is primarily represented by the human factor human beings or the workforce in any organization becomes crucial to achieve the objective of enhanced productivity now when this people side got the focus of the thinkers some of the people from other disciplines those who were not from the economics background but from sociology and psychology they also came forward with their view to help the organization to achieve the productivity target and therefore the management discipline which has heavily drawn from the economics and commerce has also drawn heavily from the behavioral school and human relation school of the management which we now know as management now these neo classical theories were divided into two parts one behavioral schools where thinkers from sociology psychology and related field who use their knowledge to propose more effective ways to manage people in the organization here they try to work upon the psychological aspect of human beings and therefore the motivation theories reinforcement theories came into the picture and that is how the management theories were coined in this particular school but in human relation aspect it was a lot of attention was paid to how managers interact with other employees and and recruit employee management for this purpose a particular study was conducted that is known as hawthorn study which was conducted by elton mayo and his colleagues in a plant of general electric hawthorn uh, which was actually an experiment to understand the human behavior when there are changes in the working conditions it was uh, this in this particular experiment it was observed that people who were divided in several groups some of the groups were given the normal conditions of work which were prevalent for everybody and one particular group was given special attention the light effect was changed for them sometimes it was brighter sometimes it was darker sometimes these people were given extra supervision and sometimes these people were not given extra supervision it was observed that when people were given special attention then to their performance is not changing initially this was the observation but later on it was found that people who are observed and supervised the behavior of these people changes with time and therefore we can increase the productivity of an organization if we work upon the manager employee relationship and therefore hawthorn's experiment becomes the milestone in neo classical studies so what we discussed in this session today we talked about the neo classical theories we said that classical theories failed to answer the intangible aspect this intangible aspect was answered by 
thinkers from sociology and psychology these thinkers came with the behavioral school and human relations school and in human relations school the most important milestone of management studies was hawthorne experiment which gave us the silver lining that extra supervision or special attention to the employees affects the productivity of the organization so this is all about the neoclassical theories thank you